Hi, I'm Aaron Weed. This is a 1937 South Bend 9-inch lathe that I rebuilt and turned into a... Frankenlathe! lathe! Here is the completed lathe made with parts from two lathes, one from 1937 and the other built in 1936. But it is mostly made up of the 1937 lathe since the 1936 model was missing a lot of parts. Here is the 1937 lathe viewed from the backside. It has several issues such as... The switch is mounted incorrectly. The wiring is a complete mess. The counter shaft is mounted too far back. The tension rod is bent and the turnbuckle was broken. It's not shown here. The ways are badly worn. The dials are also badly worn. The tabletop is too flimsy for a lathe of this size. And of course, there is all the rust to contend with. This is how the lathe looks now that it is completed. I made several modifications to suit my needs. For instance, I changed the switch to a tachometer. Very beneficial. I replaced this wiring and covered it with plastic shielding. The belts were replaced with a link belt and a normal V-belt. The counter shaft was mounted so far back that the AC motor was pressed hard onto the table and it caused the big pulley to hang too far off the backside. Now it is mounted further forward and I changed the motor to a DC motor for better speed control. I replaced the cracked turnbuckle and straightened the tension rod. I replaced the three foot bed with a four and a half foot bed and I used the matching 405 saddle. I used Rulon tape to cover all the ways and slides. This will prevent any future wear on the metal. Lots of polishing, such as the wheels and dials. I also fixed the wear on the dials. I replaced the hex bolt with the model 405 square bolt and polished the wiper retainers. I cleaned, polished, and clear coated all the original placards. The carriage assembly was in pretty bad shape, so I got it back up to par. All the rust is removed and I painted as many parts as I could. As you can see here, I even painted parts like the back ear and pulleys to prevent future rusting. Finally, I made a sturdy table to stabilize the top and I also attached a motor control box under the lathe to keep it out of the way. Here we'll do a walk around the lathe so you can see it in operation. You get a feel for how the new paint job looks. I'm sure this paint job won't last for long once I start doing some work on it. I've got the pulleys painted uh, so that they don't rust again. And I put a clear coat of epoxy on there so that the paint doesn't come off from the rub of the belt. I also changed the take-up nut here to make it function with an optical tachometer sensor. DC motor works great at slow speeds and I can get this lathe up to a very high speed. That's not something I'll be doing, but it's available if it's ever needed. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching.